This video will show you how to get Excel date formulas of any complexity without actually writing them. Ultimate Suite provides a simple tool that will do all the technical work for you. First, let's see how you can easily add or subtract any date units. For example, here I want to find out when the orders need to be shipped to come in time. And I need to subtract shipping months, weeks and days from the delivery date. Let's go to Ablebits Tools tab and click on the date and time icon. You'll see four groups of tasks at the top that let you add or subtract dates, find the difference, and even calculate an exact age using your birthday. When you click Subtract, you'll see two simple arguments to specify. The first one is the date to start with, which is our delivery date. You can simply select one from the calendar, type it in using your system format, or refer to a cell in your table so that you get a formula you can apply to similar records. We go on to the second argument, the values to subtract. You can see that they are divided by units that can be used together or on their own. If we had a date we could point to, the add-in would take all available units. In our case, it's best to point to the cells with shipping time. So I enter column D for months, E for weeks, and the cell in column F for days. Now it looks good, so I click Insert Formula and simply copy it down to get the results for all my dates. What if you want to see the exact difference between two dates in Excel? Run the add-in and select Difference. Let's find out how much time remains until the shipping date. To get a formula that keeps the result current, we can use the today function instead of a simple date. And I put in my shipping date as date 2 for comparison. I can also specify how I want to see the difference. I can pick months, weeks, days or a combination of the units I need and you can already see the result preview. There are a few options that let you get a formula for a very precise result. Add text labels to describe it or get plain numbers. You can hide extra zeros so you don't get anything like one week and zero days in the results. If you write such formula manually in Excel, you need to be careful with the order of the dates. Here you can use this option to ignore the order or show negative result, which is helpful in our example because we can see any overdue orders whenever today is bigger than the shipping date. If your dates differ in years, but you only want to see the number of months or days between them, these two options let you ignore the bigger unit in your calculations. We're all set, so I'll go ahead and insert the formula. See how long it is? The best part is that I can apply it to other cells. This add-in is also a simple age calculator in Excel. If you click Age, you can pick or enter a birthday, say whether you want to calculate the age today or on a certain date. You can get a count in years, months, weeks or even days from the date of birth or see the result as a full year, month and day set. Feel free to add a text description for the resulting value or unselect this checkbox to get just the numbers. One more handy option is the possibility to hide zero values. That is, if the age is 7 years, 0 months and 5 days, you can skip the second number in your result. When you click Insert Formula, you'll get the date of birth converted to age. And you can reuse this formula in your Excel table. This add-in comes with other helpful tools in Ultimate Suite. You can download and try its evaluation version on ablebits.com. And if you have any questions, please contact us, we're always ready to help.